and I was, I was. Frank McCourt just died. He's a writer from Ireland and from America. Uh, where'd you go? I'll play this for you. Up to New York. That was the only place. Uh, this is where I was born. So I came back here and uh, I was on a ship, a freighter, called the Irish Oak. Uh, they had a small fleet of freighters, the Irish. And uh, we were supposed to set sail, but our, our first destination was New York. Then they told us two days out we'd go to Montreal. Then they changed that to New York again. Then they changed it again to Albany. And I was, I was, I was very uh, peeved at that because I wanted to get off in New York City. So we sailed right into New York Harbor on a gorgeous October morning. And there was Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty and the skyline beyond. And I was in heaven. I had seen the skyline so many times in the movies and in books. I thought I was walking on air. I thought it was, all I had to do now was land in New York City, go dance down Fifth Avenue like Fred Astaire, and Ginger Rogers would be waiting for me in Washington Square. That's all I was going to do for the rest of my life. The music would play everywhere I went. Well, did you hop off the freighter in Manhattan, even though it was destined no, to Albany? No, I didn't. Went right up to Albany. Oh. <laughs> they wouldn't let us up. So I the skyline it. just passed you by? The skyline passed me by, and, and we were all angry. But uh, the ship, um, the ship had to dock because of the tide in the middle of the Hudson up near Poughkeepsie. And a man, well this is in the books, I'm not going to say any more about it. A man came out and let the boat put put and took some of us ashore. We went to a party in Poughkeepsie. And that's, uh, that, my first night in America was heavenly. There was a party given by a group, four women whose husbands were away hunting. So they, they had us, me, and uh, some of the ship's officers. And that was a wild night. Thank God. An antidote to the repression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you made it to Manhattan, finally. Finally, I took a train down, and, and uh, I met a priest on the, on the on the ship, and he he helped me find a room, and he helped me find a job, and I wound up working in a, in a hotel that's famous in American literature, the Biltmore Hotel, where uh, John Cheever often has his characters meet under the clock, or Updike, or, or uh, J.D. Salinger. Uh, and there was, a, there was that large clock there. All, all the um, all the Ivy League types would come into Grand Central on on Thursdays, I think, mostly on Fridays to have the wild times in New York. All right, was, um, just an interesting writer, boys, probably boring you to death. Thanks for listening. Britain.